Okay, in this video we're going to be adding axles and wheels to our fully assembled Formula One car. Let's take a look over here for a moment. You can see that I have F1 car assembly, extrusion one, which are my parts that were extruded, and extrusion two, which was the body that was extruded. Keep in mind if I click on these little plus symbols, I continue to see F1 car assembly. Once again, it does not matter which one of these you right click on, either one you can right click on and hit edit sketch. Okay, let's start with the axles. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in very close to my construction line of an axle. Let's go ahead and select circle and we're going to click in the center. You should see this little green dot up here. Let's click once. And just move your mouse up in any direction. You'll fi probably find it locks right on four millimeters, which is fine. You can click or if you want, just move in any direction, doesn't matter what direction you move, just type in four and hit enter. So once again, we want a four millimeter diameter circle. Push and hold down my mouse wheel. I'm gonna pan over to the next wheel. Same as before, you can hit C for circle. Click once, just move up and over in any direction. You can either just click, or if you want, you can just type in the number four and hit enter. Okay, we're actually going to hit Finish Sketch. And we're going to go ahead and click on the Extrude option. Now this time around, we're going to use, once again, Symmetry. And we want to go ahead and type in a length of 72. 72. Okay? Now, you're going to have a little bit of trouble finding that circle sometimes. So what I like to do is just zoom in. There we go. Find that four millimeter diameter circle, click on it once. Make sure it turns pink when you hover over it. After you click on it, you'll see that your axle appears. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom out. And now let's zoom in here towards the back. Once again, hover over the axle or four millimeter circle. Make sure it's pink. Click a second time here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now, we're going to go ahead and click on this little home button. And we're actually going to start a new sketch. You're going to do this four times. Here we go. Click on Start 2D Sketch. We actually want to click right on the end of that axle. So let me go ahead and zoom in. We want to click right here on the end of this axle. We're going to do this for all axles. Click once. Let's go ahead and hit Circle. And you can zoom in if you want. Right here in the dead center, we're going to click once, we're going to move up in any direction, and let's go ahead and type in 34. That's the diameter of a wheel. Okay, let's go ahead and select Finish Sketch. Now, I can only do this for this one axle because I have not created a new sketch for this axle or for the opposite side of the axles yet, so I have to do this one step at a time. Let's go ahead and select Extrude. This time we're going to extrude a distance of 19. And we're not going to extrude away, we're going to extrude towards the car. So let's hit direction 2, as it's called. Let's go ahead and click here. There it is. Perfect. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and just hold down my shift key and I'm going to click and drag my mouse wheel. And you're going to notice, you can see it right there there is a small gap between the wheel and the car body. It's about a two millimeter gap there. That's what we want. We don't want the wheel in this drawing to be touching the car body. That's probably a better perspective down here. Okay, let me go ahead and just do this one more time Then I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to do the other side of the car. So once again, we're gonna start off with a new sketch. So let's click on Start 2D Sketch. Once again, we wanna go ahead and click on the end of the axle let me press and hold down my wheel. Let's pan over. I'm going to hit circle. I'm going to click once in the center. Move up and over in any direction. Let's type in 34. And let's select finish sketch. Okay, once again, what we want to do here is we want to extrude. So let's click on the extrude option. We're going to keep this at 19 but we once again want to extrude 
towards the car. Now keep in mind when you do the other half of your car, you'll probably be selecting this option. Okay, but always extrude towards the vehicle. Let's go ahead and click here. There it is, and let's hit OK. Okay. Now, to do the opposite side, which I'll let you do without wasting too much of your time here in the video, just make sure you jump to the opposite side of the car. Once again, we always start with a new sketch. So we're going to go ahead and click here. Select this option. Select the end of that axle. And once again, go ahead and start drawing your 34 millimeter diameter circle. Okay. 